Hello, I'm David the Collector, and I'm here with an exciting art unboxing. Um, today, I'm opening up a piece by Husk Mit Nam. So I don't know if I'm saying that right. He's from Denmark, so it's not English. Um, I discovered him, obviously, from Beyond the Streets. His name translates to Remember My Name, so a little bit of clever wordplay there. Um, he's also were represented by V1 Gallery, based out of the same area. And he's really, really known for his clever frame adaptation. So how the artwork kind of escapes the frame. Um, here are some originals that I have by him. It's a, um, a couple editions and a couple originals. So I'm going to show those now. And the first piece up is the Pollock. This is an editioned work. You can see based on the edition number. The add on here is all the paint on the bottom. So really love this piece. Here comes the sun. This is another piece. The add on here is the rain dripping on the frame. This is also additioned. And then the one original in the corner hanging out is Spidey. So this is the first original I bought. The other one I'm about to open up. You can see how the frame and the glass was etched to look like a web, kind of faintly. Okay, and we're back. So now we're opening this final piece. Really excited for this one. Um, he did a little show through Beyond the Streets recently. Um, they had a bunch of his stuff on their website. I went for a um, different piece, but it sold out immediately. So this was the backup. Um, I really like this one because of the reference to sort of being an early artist. Um, but yeah, I'll, let's let's check it out. So yeah, really love the box here. So extra cardboard, extra safe, that's a great sign. Given I was just saying, uh, we've had glass break before and this is not as easy as just fixing a frame. Um, the frame is the art piece too, so it's kind of the unique part about his work. And what draws in sort of audiences of all ages. So this is an original, like I was saying, kind of ties into graffiti and the art world. Um, was, ooh, knocking over the video. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. Um, cool. Unboxing, unboxing, unboxing. Ooh, they do all this tricky frame stuff so that's a picture preview let's uh i'm gonna open this up but we'll probably fast forward through this part so there it is so very cool, right? You can see the etching along the bottom, um, the person telling on um, the art student. Um, this is someone obviously in class fucking around with their desk, making a little bit of art. I really, really love this motif. I love the fact that it's an art um, piece about art itself. Um, this almost feels like an early self-portrait of the artist himself sort of in class. Um, experimenting with his artwork very early on, right? Um, woodworking and sort of seeing how etching in a desk could, could make little marks. He's not even paying attention. And he's being told on. Karen in the background is a snitch. So this is a really funny piece. Really love sort of the full narrative of it. Um, was really, really, ha really, really happy to get this. Thank you, Beyond the Streets. Roger Gassman hosted um, sort of constant art releases. Uh, this was really, really cool. Thank you, Husmit Nav, for making the piece. I'm happy to add another original to my collection by you. Um, these things fly off the walls like hotcakes. People really, really love sort of this unique frame design element. So anytime you can find a piece of his with um, sort of an element 
element of the frame, um, people people buy that shit quickly. So uh, whether it's in addition, um, he puts out editions on his website. They go for about four or five hundred euros. They sell out and resell for about a thousand dollars to the originals that I have not seen resell specifically, but they go for about fourteen hundred to two thousand dollars each. Um, and I've seen them pretty much always sell out anytime they've been released. So. Super, super cool. Love this artist. Thanks for listening. Please like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Um, It really helps me when I get to 100 subscribers. I'm going to buy a streaming computer and do a lot of these openings live. Probably hire a little editor too. So if you know someone, feel free to drop their name in a comment. Um, But yeah, really thinking about growing the channel. Love making these videos and being able to do it sort of off the cuff with a live audience. Um, Instead of answering your questions in the YouTube comments, I could answer them in real time. And then someone else can edit that video later and turn it into sort of a YouTube consumable content as well. So I see that all kind of fitting together in a fun way. Um, Thank you for being a part of the journey. Thanks for watching all the videos all the way through. You're the real one. Have a good one.